When I was originally watching Cowboy Bebop, I always had this uncertainty if I truly understood these characters without seeing their backstory. So how about having everything revealed to us? Because if there was something the show was lacking, then that would be salty. But we can't have any more of that. I just really can't decide what kind of person Spike is without seeing it in excruciating detail. Like how Wishes gets off by a woman shaving his balls with a straight razor. I can see the blade now. Blood will flow. Ah. Let me get this straight, you let a woman shave your balls. No, I'm not pulling your leg, that is exactly what's going on in this scene. Just see it for yourself for the second time. But you have to use a straight razor. So who shaves you? This is gonna come as a shock to you, but most people don't like sharp blades near their dicks. This is real. This is Cowboy Bebop now. Tell me a trim at least. Please stop. Oh, you savage. I prefer a more natural situation. That's just uncivilized. These writers Fuck. should go on strike to get yes. paid better. And speaking of scenes we don't want to see, how about we see what kind of person and Spike used to be. Yeah, it's actually happening. We're taking down a syndicate. <laughs> like his previous characterization wasn't bad enough, they doubled down on it. Okay. How about some foreshadowing, if we can even call it at this point, to how violent Vicious is. What the hell? That's why it was a pretty smart move from the original show, not showing too much from Spike's days from Syndicate. We see just enough to know how he didn't enjoy that life, and Julia was his ticket out of that life. Clean up the blood. Why up should I clean blood. up? I did all the work. Are you kidding me? I am not cleaning up any blood. I just left Don't. Come back. What's your name? Brenda. Brenda. You didn't see anything here. Run! What is the matter with you? She could ID us. No kids. Gee, I wonder if that's gonna come up at the end of the episode. I can't wait! You take care of our little problem at the courthouse? Can you believe it? Turns out the judge never got the paperwork from the deer. Good, stupid piece of fucking scent beef. It's a capo who can't get real beef as one of the pillars of the syndicate. I mean, seriously, how hard would it be to breed a couple of cows? Everything is so goddamn phony these days. Just, what kind of message is Netflix sending with this? I did catch on earlier that there's a lot of fake products in this universe, but this is going a bit far, especially when it has nothing on the story. It's a kind of world where rich girls boss around drug addicts to get off planets, serial murderers feeling sorry for dogs after killing their owners, and con artists fucking around the entire galaxy with a Russian arms dealer out of a kink play. Did I miss something? Never mind. The elders are looking to negotiate a deal with the Neptune cartel. Those animals? For what? For the fact that it rains diamonds on Neptune. You believe that shit? Wish is tasked to do a deal with the Neptune gang. He's not too enthusiastic about it, but on the other hand, what is he enthusiastic about? It takes the same. I don't think I care. So don't fuck this up. Your future in mind. Hinge on it. One was out. Uh, kudo to my friend here. What are you doing? Excuse us. This is a couple's dip. You want a drink? Drink at your own table. And he's quite oblivious to his awful manners. And the capo can see through this, so he calls Spike off to a private discussion. Well, life's not hard enough, I gotta bring up an elder's kid. Not everyone's a people person. Oh, please. I know you're tight, but don't pretend you don't see it. There's something rotten in him. He's alright. That's only because you clean up after him. <laughs> Vicious being able to negotiate. Yeah, I, I think we all know how this will end. That's why they want you on it too. To make sure, to make dead bang sure he doesn't blow it. You hear me? Yes, sir. Else it's all our heads. I'll take care of her. Now that you... How is she? She'll be... <coughs> oh, poor thing. She already sat through the next episode. Seems to me you better get ready. Love that. What? No. Yes. Oh, I, I can't. Yes. Anna, please. Anna, yes. you yes. can't yes. be yes. serious. Yes. You're all smiles. <laughs> I'm finally getting the respect I deserve. About time. The syndicate is gonna be mine one day, you know that, right? Wish is talking with a closed jaw. For some reason, lack of direction, maybe? We need a cold psychopath, not a clown. I'm really happy for you. For me? No, 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 no. Where I go, you go. You'll be right there by my side, the two of us. Together. Yes, to us, brother. Brother. Your mile is more ridiculous than the actual cartoon. How did you achieve that? Donin! Shoujo! And all you dirty, dirty folks in between. What the fuck was that line? Me. Julia sings. Amazing. Everyone is happy, no spanking. Oh, you didn't have to. 
Syndicate? I didn't. An admirer sent it back. Really? Handsome? Syndicate. And you know my feelings on them. Mm-hmm. This is quite the picnic. Well, I'm not a blanket on the ground kind of guy. Vicious speaks Russian now? Hello? You speak Russian. I learned a little, knowing it was your native tongue. I am using sub most of the time, but if I don't turn them on, I will miss out on dialogue that I won't understand otherwise. Not like it would have any impact, but this is kind of a bad choice. We're going out later, you should join. Uh, why would I do that? She finds you funny somehow. You talk about me on day? During sex, actually. <laughs> the next mob boss, everyone. They do have rules and negotiations. Which are? No iron. Are you joking? Not even. Take the team for backup, but you two go in naked. Great. We were born nudists. You said no iron. You worry too much. You don't worry enough. Can we just follow one order? A psychotic urge is all that drives him. Hang on to this. Absolutely stunning. Oh, wonderful. So you show all this crap, but not the meeting that you have been building up for the past 12 minutes. So the show is making a big deal out of this meeting that we never see at all. Why not show the characters in work? Instead of explaining it to us through expository dialogue. But no, let's just roll with this one. As of today, you only collect as our new headliner. <laughs> Julia gets a promotion. Yay! Moving on. You tried to... Cut off his fucking hand? <laughs> that inbred animal insulted me, insulted the syndicate. Wish has fucked up the deal. To literally nobody's surprise. The fix will come down from the elders. You two will do nothing. You will sit on your fucking hands and wait until they tell me what to do. Then I will tell you what to do, and you will goddamn do it. Tell with stacks. Tell with all of the elders will see. Whatever happens, happens. Fucking kitchen. The elders will see. See what? We didn't see the point of no return for Vicious. From all the scenes they have been shoving up our asses, this is the one they have skipped. Hey, I made it. Oh, hi, Julia. Everything okay? Yeah, just a tough day at the office. How are you doing tonight? Excellent, thank you. Anna made me a headliner. <laughs> Vicious isn't thrilled, but Spike knows how to do one thing right. Well, the celebrations are in order. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. I love the Jupiter jig. Come on, dance with me. I don't think so. Dance with your girl, it'll cheer you up. You go, you like this place so much. I love places like this for getting shit faced. Which I prefer doing over dancing. Vicious lets his new girlfriend dance with his best friend. All right, guess it's on you. It's on me. <laughs> All right. Um. And he wonders why Julia would ditch him for Spike. <laughs> Serves him right. Spike gets on stage with Julia, but before dancing he shares his incredible backstory. So how did you turn to partners? We met when we were kids. He saved me. Convinced his father to take me in, go to life for me. We became brothers that day. Just so we know, he's very close with Vicious. I grew up on the streets, no family, no prospects, no chance for survival, so... I'm sorry. And we are getting lines here okay. when we had superior ones for the same thing in the past. Like, you know this anime called Cowboy Bebop? How it literally did everything better than this? Like how Spy grew up on the streets and was taken in by the syndicate. The very first episode of the show points out Spike was born on Mars. Ever been to Mars? I was born on Mars. It must be a great place to live. Sure, if you're rich. This one sentence gives us enough information that he has enough insight to know the difference. The rest of his character speaks for itself and his experience. You sure about this? Yeah, it's easy. Come on. Okay, what do I do? Keep your eyes on me. Excuse me, <laughs> I'm sorry. But whatever, keep the terrible dialogue going. Stop dancing. Ooh. Ooh. Fun memories. Wanna get out of here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so this is how he got that. Uh, moving on. <laughs> I go to shake the guy's hand, that's when I see he got no arms. No. <laughs> so I shook his head. No, you didn't. I did. He did, he did. While they recite hilarious stories that we will never get to see, Vicious notices Kaching walking alone. Did they really call him Kaching? So it comes very naturally for Vicious that he should run him over with his car. It's Kaching, that natural scum. Vicious, wait. Vicious, stop. What are you doing? Stop! Vicious, stop! 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 Is he this stupid? Vicious! Fuck with me! Ah! Fuck with the syndicate! Did you stop? Take her home. I'll deal with him. A great plan. Let's leave the psycho who almost killed this dude alone. And Spy goes with that. My hands are shaking. Can't make it stop. Look at me. You're safe now. You're safe with me. I know. 
I know. Oh shit, now they will bang after this. You didn't give a shit about your girlfriend the whole day. You passed on dancing to your best friend. And now you're telling him to take her home while she's crying in your car from the brutality you're currently displaying? I don't know about you, but if Julia can still change her mind, I think the time is now. And oh boy it is. Just lay back and watch Julia giving in to her hormones. Well, Vicious is pulling out Kaching's teeth one by one, truly a romantic peril, and it's done. All my life, I tried not to feel anything, because if I did, I'd have something to lose, something to be afraid of. And right now, all I'm afraid of is losing you. Spike finally starts feeling things. What a happy ending. Or is it now? Were you with your partner when he killed Kaching? It wasn't him, it was me. We ran into Spare him. Spare me, he did it in the goddamn street! As if nobody was gonna see. Stax orders Spike to ice Vicious. You just gave me 20. No, 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 it's over! The Neptune cartel wants him dead. And if we don't comply... It's gonna be war. It's worse, it's last man standing. Oh no, what is he gonna do? Get rid of him or stick with this idiot while he tells you his daddy made him watch his mommy commit suicide? All my life, whatever trouble I got myself into, if I failed my father's name, my fucking father. And just when Spike is about to slit his throat, you know he made me watch the night my mother jumped. He just listens to him reciting that story about his mommy committing suicide. <sighs> you shouldn't be here. Any second they'll be coming for me. <laughs> Spike single-handedly cleans up the whatever Neptune gang. A full bar without a single scratch. And if we don't comply, it's gonna be war. It's worse, it's last man standing. You didn't see anything here. This never happened, you understand me? Run. Run! What is the matter with you? She could ID us. No kids. A gang that one guy can wipe out all by himself. Does anyone care anymore? Run away with me. We we can't. We can't. We can go someplace where we can just be us. He'll never stop looking for us. I love you. I have since the moment I saw you. Yes. And they have gotten rid of one of the sweetest scenes from the show. The one where Spike returns from a dangerous assignment. The sweet little scene where Julia sings for him and he asks for more. Just like that. Sing for me, please. But in the adaptation, this scene is gone. Vanished. Destroyed. We need new papers. A new name. Nobody can outrun the syndicate. We need papers for Julia, too. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Not with her. Anna is hesitant to help with the papers, but agrees anyway. Remember, it's very easy to convince people in the show. If you repeat the same thing twice, they will just follow along. Her chances with me are better than with Vicious. You know that. Promise me. You will keep her safe. You have my word. I need this. No, you can't do this. I'm doing this for Julia. Okay. I'm having this ominous feeling again that the whole universe is bending towards Julia, but well, let's just carry on. Meanwhile, Vicious is drunk as fuck. Right, the celebration you've had. My father, I should have come to you. I apologize. Apologize. For some reason, the steward of Gondor has personally came to visit Vicious. Maybe he's the third child. Oh, if only he came to the Lord of the Rings universe. Aragorn is right. We cannot use it. Shall I come back after the mincing and preening part of the day is over? I've come to congratulate you. What you and Fearless did. Who thought it possible? Two men against an entire cartel. So he did wipe out the entire cartel. Holy shit! Just to be sure, keep this in mind. It will become relevant shortly. I have underestimated you, boy. I'm proud of you. 
Well, they disrespected the syndicate. They disrespected you. I couldn't let that. Ah! Vicious is taking credit as usual, but his father is having none of it. You are a fucking liar. His only achievements come from the doings of others. Ellis, he was only ever loyal to himself. What? He busted his ass off so Vicious can be off the hook. How does he know that? Well, you were neck deep in the bottle. Your brother was stepping out with your whore. Is Lin or Shin watching Spike while he was having sex? Which is totally believable in this universe, by the way. He wouldn't. He did. And papers were processed. Not just running around on you, they're running away from you. Oh, alright, he knows about the papers, but still. And I should have known the Syndicate would be watching over the process, if that's how much influence they have, or better. Why didn't Spike know this? He should have known the risks. And truly stupidity is hereditary, because Spike was doing this selflessly, just for his friend, his brother. I'd anticipated his loyalty to be singular to the Syndicate. You believed it was to you. The irony for both of us was that he was only loyal to himself. And this is how he regards Spike? It just doesn't really sit right with me. Where are they? You want to be a capo? Capos don't ask questions. They find answers. Vicious goes straight to Anna's place and interrogates her. Oh god, Spike, what have you done? You're not supposed to compete with Vicious on dumbness. Where is Fearless taking her? Piss off, cut. <laughs> And if that wasn't insulting enough already, how about rewriting the whole reason why Julia didn't follow Spike to something like Vicious ordering one of his nameless goons to take Julia to his penthouse? Vicious wants me to bring you to his penthouse. No, I, I... The streets are dangerous tonight, so please just leave that here and come with me. Replacing Vicious with this nobody was a brilliant move. It's not like Julia meant anything to him, so why should he show up pointing a gun at her? Forcing her to do things against her will, when someone can just give her a lift so we can have none of the drama. What were they thinking? She's not coming. Not tonight. Not ever. She chose me. Think you're fast enough. So what is the best way to face a one-man army like Spike? Just walk towards him and hope for the best. Seriously, this dude survived the whole cartel without permanent injuries. What are the five of you hoping to achieve here? I guess that worked for now. It's quite a rhetorical question, but... What have they done to Wishes? Or better, what have they done to this show? The original was very vague about Spike's past life, for good reasons. The show has a heavy focus on the syndicate plot, and it's at the expense of all these other characters. Even now, we have spent the whole episode just telling us a backstory that we don't even need to see to understand that these characters are insane, and they are part of a crime organization, o okay? We got the same amount of information from flashbacks that didn't amount for more than a few minutes. And we are just about to reach the finale. Oh no. Oh no.